okay the first step of this tutorial is we're going to build the scene uh, for your notice uh, I'm going to use a uh, several add-on uh, during this tutorial the first thing is pi menu uh, you will notice that sometimes you, you will see that uh, circular menu is uh, using pi menu add-on the, the link for that add-on I will provide in video description and also there's a uh, quick object tools uh, from CG Cookie Jonathan Williamson. Okay, so again, back to the topic. We're going to create the scene. We're going to build the scene. So uh, I want you to make sure to also enable the build surface. Okay, build surface TPL edition. Make sure you you enable that it's because we're going to use that to create uh, what do you call the bottom part of the the, the place hol holder for the candle okay I'm going to delete the top part of the cube I'm sorry yep, yeah it's deleted actually yeah, sometimes that happen if you're using the pipe new so next uh, I'm going to go to perspective and enter top and scale it down until yep that enough the next thing we're going to do is uh, rename it. Uh, I'm going to name it to placeholder for the holder of the uh, what do you say um, the kennel. Okay, now we're going back to object mode, and I'm going to create a curve and using the circle. Okay, now both of uh, enter the edit mode, and now we have four. Okay, I'm going to to the right orthographic view and press L to select this maybe raise it up a little bit one block and scale up going to change the cursor snap to median so it will be scaling based on it okay that's enough select everything and I'm going to duplicate this to a little bit up and we'll be scaling a little bit bigger and duplicate again going to a little bit up and scale like that maybe around getting down duplicate again and duplicate again oops and maybe scale it up a little bit Okay, now we boat select boat. Can't. Okay, pull it down. Okay, now. Okay, I'm going to scale it a little bit. So uh, you can see that it's look like it's something um, like a placeholder or something. We're going to auto automate the modeling using this curve, using base surface. Okay, now um, select uh, this base vehicle and then select this uh, placeholder. You enter the edit mode while both of these selected and make sure uh, select the curve first and then the mass second and then so this mass is the last selected and enter the edit mode. So here you can see that there is a add surface in here. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is the add surface right now. Bang, and it's happening just right away. Okay, so does the menu for here? You you can enable it or by pressing the F6 here. You can um, increase the cross. It will be add more subdivision to the more detail to the your mess your geometry over here. Maybe I'm going to stick to three and then increase follow to four yep that's enough okay now um, I think this okay uh, it's quite fast actually um yep okay so I'm going to enter the object mode and I'm going to uh, close the bottom of this uh, mass 
okay going to right going to extrude and okay maybe a little bit yeah um going to uh, now we can delete this placeholder because the name of this image is already placeholder right now okay. oh, sorry x and 40 selected okay now okay um going to bottom and i'm going to extrude scale extrude scale okay now it's like um extrude scale and alt amp at center okay so now it's like uh, it's creating the circle okay so uh, i'm going to add a subserve it will create like that and enable smooth and i don't like this kind of things so we're going to make it more sharper okay like that and also one over here up okay nice now we just create a quick modeling for this tutorial okay now second thing is we're going to close the lid so it's not um, let's go to top view and extrude it a little bit and extrude it again and we going to right view apply wireframe and then drag it down a little bit okay now we can add loop cut here two maybe or three whatever okay just enable so now we go to solid yep now we can add more loop cut here to create this kind of look okay now it's look like a jar okay so we create a jar nice okay tada it's it's done okay so this is the candle placeholder where we're going to put the candle inside of it okay next we're going to create a candle make sure your 3d cursor in the center and create uh, using the cylinder it will be too big at first change to 30 to 16 so not too much detail and yep uh, not and gone but nothing and okay i think that's enter the edit mode and i'm going to scale it down to match uh the size of yep i think that's that's it yep going to rise a little bit okay now it's looking done okay i'm going to increase the size of this um, maybe i'm going to select both and then scale to z based on z i mean okay now it's a little bit good top view scale a little bit go to sorry right view again Okay, you know, a little bit scale on the axis, a little bit higher, higher. Okay, that's it. Okay, you now go to object mode, select these things. I'm going to select both of, sorry. Okay, and scale it down a little bit. I'm going to scale this stuff up. Okay, now. Okay, That's cool. Uh, what we're going to do is going to we're going to subdivide these things multiple time. We're going to use loop cut. We're going to subdivide until we are meeting the good proportion of the square. You can see we can see the almost perfect square in here, so that's fine. Okay, it's done. And next, we're going to enter the sorry edit mode solid. We're going to close this upper bottom. Okay, um, we're going to 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 extrude. Okay, extrude best maybe a little bit there. Extrude again. 
straight again okay now we're going to close it we're going to using this half half and we're going to maybe three of them okay so now we get this up one two three four select it press F you select this three make sure you don't select it anything yep and press F again in here going to create this half again here F and now in the center F Yep, actually you can easily using the what you call I don't know there is a new tools that I'm still I don't know how to use it so it's easier the the process of modeling sorry I shouldn't I'm going to scale it very very small and add more loop cut here to add more definitions like in here also uh, not to double G we can create that okay now it's fine now okay I'm going to add a subserve modifier okay now it's pretty slick sitting smooth it's almost look like a candle right now it's uh, perfectly okay I'm going to scale it a little bit bigger to fill that hole over there okay you know it's bigger candle okay the next thing we're going to uh, to make this more oh great now it's going to uh, sorry um, it's going somewhere else so you can just delete both of, both of this so I can turn for this Yep. Since it doesn't show up, so it's no problem after all. Lift that untouch. Okay, next we're going to add textures. Um, get to change to cycles render. Okay, the cycles. So next we're going to add. Uh, Okay, there's a new way to add it. <laughs> there's no texture anymore in here. How to add it? You going to be a little bit confused, but okay, I'll explain later on. Okay, we're going to add displacement map. Okay, first thing I'm going to reduce this to only one subdivision and add displacement map. Okay, that's it. There's no uh, texture actually. Um, Okay, we add a new textures. So now there's texture in here. Pass on this place. Um, okay, that's clouds. Fine. Yep. Nothing to worry about. Okay. <laughs> um. Next, we're going to call it this texture. Can call it displacement, which means only for displacement and reduce the string to point three something to string. Point two. Okay, leave it. I'm going to change direction to Y and make it global. Uh, maybe yep. Okay, find point three. How about point two? Oh, point two is fine. Okay, that should make it. Um, I'm going to scale it a little bit small. Aha, uh -huh. now we're going to press C, up, X, okay, looking good. Nice, look like a candle. Okay, candle, usually you can see the, the real stick of candle is the middle of the surface. I mean, the, this part is a little bit, goes down a little bit. So we're going to... Uh, enable proportional edit so we're going to make it down 
but favors at all okay like that okay nice uh, I think oops sorry I'm going to raise it a little bit but to reduce the yep something like that so you'll notice that uh, yep it's kennel there Okay, our arson is almost done. The next we're going to do, we call that cylinder candle. Next, we're going to create uh, what do you know, candle lit or something. If or in the middle, Let's see if it's selected. Okay, I have to add more. Our uh, what is it? We can add more subsurface on top of this so because the s the modifier in blender is stack it's like the first second and then again so second I'm just very very slow don't make it too realistic to and two so now it's very very smooth <laughs> okay so next we're going to create a cube this is what we call candle lit going to scale it very very uh, yeah very very small it's like the size of the lid going to create the Z axis okay scale Z axis again scale it pretty much raise it up and sub doing a lot cut uh, multiple times until we find a square like there okay done I'm sorry okay now it's yeah this is my method actually you can actually find a better method but I found this quick and easy so now I'm going to apply the subserve create smooth okay now candles so the easiest part is like I can select this and with uh, proportional edit is enabled I can drag it out like a snake or something okay no okay we just finished our scene uh, let's adjust for camera it's like camera camera okay now select the camera but uh, I like using compost and guides here to start and position your something like that grab down shift F to fly around something like that leave room for you know for the candle it's a little bit up so this will be the fire okay we're going to add crystal to center also we're going to add plane mess okay this is going to the place where the reflection something okay so far is let's call it floor for this So now we, we have a placeholder candle, candle lit. Okay, so our scene is ready.